you want to the number one way to the number one way to uh get more profit through your business with your business is to target customers that you already have had happy customers um they may need additional services they may need additional help from you for example say you have a lawn care business and you um you have a satisfied customer they may want um say you have a house painting business just a local house painting business and um you need to develop a deeper relationship with your satisfied customers say a uh, a customer got a house painted from you one year then the next day you're thinking well i really don't have much to do with them until <clears throat> they need their house painted again but they may need referrals of other services they may need touch up work they may know people who this is the biggest point they may know people that they could refer you to they may need some inside paint done there's many different avenues to go down and one of the best ways to do this is to use a tool called Get Response. There's several of them out there. There's Get Response. There's A Weber. There's uh, Infusion Soft or something that's really expensive. There's Mailchimp, Chimp, which is kind of free. It's free, but it's it's not quite as good. Um, but it is a good way. And this sounds like a bunch of mumble jumbo, but if you're a business owner, you have to take some of these things seriously. And one of the biggest is to grow a list. I'm sure, you, well, maybe you have. If you've heard of a list, but what you want to do, what you want to do is grow a, several lists if possible. You would like to have a list of satisfied customers so that you can continue to sell upsell products and re remind them of new products and constantly ask for referrals by via offering them something something beneficial for them in exchange for referrals coupons money gifts uh marketing is marketing is a tricky subject a lot of people get really scared and they think that there's a, a lot of unethical things but in reality this is marketing is the reality of business it costs money um i actually have a consumer guide at the end of this video that i'm gonna have the link to below uh, i suggest you pick it up but a lot of people get a website and they get the idea that the website has other intentions than what it really does a website is a tool for selling you have to have something to sell as either a product or service or entertainment in some form and even service entertainment is in a lot of way a service too you have to have the product and you have to market the product i've made several webs i've made tons of websites for people i've done a lot of different things business related in numerous fields and the number one thing that i always see is people believe that if they make whatever the product is that i guess riches are going to come or something like that uh, let me give you some examples one example is people will get into say like a cleaning franchise and they will have this notion that after a while they will become independently wealthy just from buying into this cleaning franchise and I'm not saying like wealthy like the Kardashians but they believe like that they could just hire somebody out and then it's the kind of take care of itself and it could just grow whenever they want it to grow and 
No, it doesn't work like that. Not at all. You have to accept the fact that you're going to have to put in the work, for one, because you're going to need a good product. And then the real work comes in understanding and learning and being willing to market. So let's say, for example, if you have a cleaning business, let's see if we can find one. Okay, um, <clears throat> and so we'll say that you have a cleaning business, and your cleaning business brings in, uh, I don't know, maybe $1,200 a month right now, okay? You know, respectable, respectable, so $14,000 a year. You got this thing going on. It's only your side thing, but you have ideas that you could make it better. And I'm not, and without a doubt, you can make it better. You could sell more of it. You could do it more. You know, I don't know. You first and foremost, what you need to do is hire people and start getting a process of hiring quality people and having the system broke down as to what you're doing so that when you have to replace people, it's not as big an issue. But from day one, I would suggest starting to try to hire people. First thing first, have your business, get your product together, work on making sure that you're doing an actually good service, hire people, but you have to put a lot of work into marketing. A big tool is a website. Uh, you know, no offense to whoever this person is, this website made bright. We put the hurt on dirt, you know, nice little sayings and stuff. And it's a clean little website. And, you know, it's even got the contact us little field or whatever. And it, it's fine. But in reality, um, you know, if you're a person who's just looking to hire somebody, what's going to make you remember this? Not much. It's not really about the customer here. It's more about them. We are an independently owned, fully insured. Okay, well, that's good that they're fully insured. Five-time winner. Okay, but what do you give me? Okay, it's good that you're on Angie's list, you know, and I can reference you back, hopefully. You know, not a bad site, but it could definitely be better. Um, uh, let's talk about, so Google, Google's local search, <clears throat> it pulls up all these local, uh, that's just my Evernote stuff. Google's local search, so you put in Cleveland, Ohio, cleaning business and this is how easy it would, it would be really to stand out um, you see Ten best house cleaning services in Cleveland. That's that. That's probably pretty useful. Jam Pro, they're a franchise. Uh, they hit people up pretty hard. They're very well marketed. This would really be a competition. <clears throat> um, Cheetah Cleaning, office cleaning services provides. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so here's a good example of, say, a cleaning website. It is saying request a quote. Okay, so the whole idea, the whole idea and purpose of a website, this is all great. 
you know, it's a presence, and that's wonderful. It has a phone number. You know, it's almost like a business card almost. And their main way of interaction is for them to request a quote. That's not bad, but I have ideas that is, a little, is definitely a lot stronger. I don't want to request a quote. I want to give my target market, my potential customer, I want to give them something. I want to, I want to offer them something that they might need or want in exchange for their information. For example, I may give them a small ebook of how to know if your cleaning company is doing a good job or not, or how to select a cleaning company, or what are the appropriate prices. You know, I want to give them some gift, some information, uh, maybe even a coupon. Um, if I'm doing house cleaning, maybe I'm giving them $30 off first time cleaning if you request the coupon. I want to offer them something in exchange for getting their information. This is a good presence, but it's not doing enough. It's not making the website work enough. So, again, you know, you have a cleaning business, and the whole purpose is to make profit. And you want to convert as many <clears throat> leads as possible. You want uh, good leads. You want people who are, are actually interested. Um, you don't want to be cold prospecting. You don't want to be wasting your time and your effort. Like I say, the Internet is great. But you're going to have to spend some money. You're going to have to use Google AdWords. You're going to have to use Facebook AdWords. You're going to have to learn certain marketing principles. Either you're going to have to learn it or you're going to have to get somebody on your team to learn it. Like I say, at the end, I, I have a service that I offer. You, you, know, you can find out more about it, venture more into it. Uh, I'm going to have... Uh, certain meetup areas and talk about different things. But let's go back to, so you have a cleaning business and you make a website. Now, this website does look good, and it gives you some information. It's, it's modern. It's very interactive. It has the phone number. Um, look, it's showing examples of people working. It's got great what we would call copy. The copy is great. They spent time on this website. I'm sure they're doing pretty well. Core uh, chores getting more difficult. You've done enough. Let us take over the homework. Bang. I mean, it's, this is good stuff. Really, truthfully, this website is fantastic. This is a good example of a good website. It's got information down here. And again, though, now I'm sure they're converting pretty good, but I would change this. Request service. Yeah. You can request service. Some put that like maybe here. Maybe they already they're already uh, bought on you and they're already sold. That could be maybe down here because people still they want to make sure that that this is what they want to do. And you want to capture, you want to capture their information. You want when they get here and they see this chores getting more difficult. You've done enough. Let us take over the homework. Great. What you want to do right there and then, they're feeling good about this, is say, let us show you. Uh, we'll send you a free informational guide of 10 ways to save time and have is anything like that, anything along that line. But you want to offer something free and then get their information. You may not even want to get all of this information at first because you want to develop a relationship. Like they're converting probably about 5%. 
with a couple of subtle changes, you could change that from conversion from 5% to probably 10%. And you're capturing more emails. So the more emails you capture, the more down the road they may decide in a month or two that they do want to get the service. This one, they would be forced to come back to your website. They're never coming back to your website. That's why you have to get the stuff. You have to close the deal right there and then. They... If you already have them and they already looked at your business card and you already talked to them, they may just come to your website and sign up. But nine times out of ten, they have no idea who you are. They found this site organically or they may have heard about it or you actually, like I always suggest, started campaigns or let somebody manage your marketing campaigns, had a marketing budget and was okay with spending money and they found your ad you still do not want to waste that uh, pay-per-view click or whatever that they found you through Facebook or whatever. You want to immediately start the relationship and you want to offer them something. You want to start the relationship in a good way by giving them something. These are sales techniques. Uh, stick with me through these whole series. I'm going to have tons of sales techniques I'm going to try my best to make sure that the show no show notes are robust and there'll be contact information. Leave, leave comments below about what else you might want to uh, venture down, what other roads you want to venture down. But good website. I give it a, a B, a little bit of tweaks here, a little bit of tweaks there. You change the conversions. We're talking, okay. Let's break down some of the numbers. Say they're converting 5% and they're getting uh, business. I'm sure they're probably doing pretty well if they're spending and have a marketing budget. Say they're profiting profiting uh, 2000 a month, just conservatively, we'll just say. And that's just with spending uh, maybe $100 a month to market this actual website. If you bump those conversions from the five percent up to just ten percent, you could probably I mean we would have to really break down the numbers, but you would go from two thousand to easily to three thousand, so four thousand maybe because you're doubling really you're going from five percent to ten percent, so you're going to four thousand so say it takes you two weeks to tweak and make the website and test it because there's another thing that goes along with selling. There's a lot of complex parts to selling, but it's really is kind of simple. It's all about giving the the customer what they really want. You got to figure out who the customer is, but you would the best technique would be to test this website to make this one and then make a another test. It's called A B splitting. And again, I would suggest having a team member, you know, developing a, a rapport with a team member and have this team member do these tweaks and test out because it is huge money in the numbers parts of selling and websites and social media and uh, web presence and telephone and autoresponders. All of these things are tools and all of these tools are used similar but you need someone to master the tool and to use the tool for example if you needed uh, a garage fixed you would preferably go hire someone who's fixed plenty of garages and who already has the tools to fix the garage and you would pay them the money to fix the garage now a lot of people think about business as is uh, something different at least small business they figure that they can figure it out or they should they could do it I don't suggest doing that I suggest you get a team member just like you would with a garage um, and in closing for this video I uh, I have a free consumer guide that I'm going to offer you. And the guide is 
basically it's an entire written breakdown that you can download and it is all about what to expect getting a website and a web presence made there's certain like um knowledge points in here to actually check off as you are going through and making a website for yourself um my whole purpose of this is just to make you as much profit as possible uh you can contact me get in touch with me and my services or just watch the rest of the video series that will be coming out and again like i say i'm just trying to make you profit so uh i wanted you to see this we looked at get response uh below there's going to be a link and you actually you'll just go to the link to get the free guide and you just and you'll get the free report delivered directly to you um and again any questions any comments please leave them below I want to start a discussion about this and we will be having other videos coming out very soon. So if you have anything that is definitely on your mind, please inform us so that we may make a video about it.